where you would still need to go and sit in a hot tub or go into a sauna for about an hour and set the temperature to around about 40 Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. And I don't know about you, but if I did that for 60 minutes, by the end of it, I'd be like, oh man, I'm tripping out here. I don't know what's going on. Time a Miller, the bald a-hole here. And as you have seen from the title, it's just one of those days where we have to roll our eyes and actually question who the hell is even coming up with this stuff. And I suppose it comes down to clickbait. And sure, you can point your finger at me and say, well, Simon, you've done stuff like that before. But I like to think my titles are more enticing. And then when you actually get into the video, I explain myself and I try and put all of my information across. But I still put my hands up and say, I don't think I've ever done anything that is this crazy. Because there is a study going around at the moment and again, as I've always said, you can find a study for everything. And one guy got really mad at me on Instagram. Well, that's not fair, Simon. You should look into the... I was like, man, it doesn't even matter. I'm just some idiot on YouTube. You've got to let it go. That says... I've got a headline here, but there's a bunch of them. And it says, can't face running, question mark. Have a hot bath or a sauna. Research shows they offer some similar benefits. Now, the first problem I have with this is that it ties into this idea that fitness is bad, right? I get that sometimes we don't want to work out. We don't want to go to the gym. We don't want to go for a run. We don't want to do cross trainer. We don't want to work our heartbeat up, right? So what people do is they kind of jump on that. They think, well, how can we come up with ways that people don't have to do exercise, but they can still get the benefit of exercise? It's when you get all that crazy gym equipment, like electrodes that you stick onto your face, and someone tries to sell you on the fact, oh, it's sucking blood out of your muscles, and when you suck blood out of your muscles, you actually lose fat, which actually, if you do it, suck blood out of your muscles, you probably just drop dead and die. So it always comes back to this idea that exercise isn't enjoyable, exercise isn't fun, and as opposed to try and come up with ways that that maybe you can enjoy exercise, we come up with these crazy things that always sound nice and pretend that you are going to get similar benefits. So in this uh, scenario, we're saying you don't have to go for a run. You don't have to go run in the rain with all your running gear on and hurt your knees and hurt your feet and go for an hour. You can just lay in a bath and when you're laying in the bath, you are going to get the same benefits. Now that is true to a certain point, but the point that it's not true is that you're not going to burn any weight, you're not going to burn any fat, and you're not going to all of a sudden get big and jacked. I mean, not that running would do that, but the point is there is no benefit when it comes to that side of things. And the benefits, as you are going to see, are completely not redundant, but certainly are redundant when we are talking about fitness. So where the comparisons do come in is that if you do lay in a sauna or a hot tub, so not the bath that you've got upstairs, that doesn't count. You have to go in a very specific hole and make sure you get the right temperature again, you will reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and you may get other health benefits too. So what does happen when you are just laying there butt naked is that you will find comparable elevations in your core body temperature, obviously, because your temperature is going to increase. And it's the same for your heart rate. But also you observe similar increases when it comes to blood flow. Again, it stands to reason. But when you scroll down into nearly all of these articles and to be fair play to some of them, they have it at the top. It says, oh yeah, but by the way, like, you know, don't cancel your gym membership and don't stop actually doing running because I'm just using the one that I've got here where it says saunas, baths and hot tubs are unable to replicate all the health benefits of exercise training such as promoting fat loss or increasing muscle mass. Well, shiver me timbers, who would have thought that? But even then, even if you have heard all this and said, okay, well, I'm looking for all kinds of health benefits, well, you would still need to go and sit in a hot tub or go into a sauna for about an hour and set the temperature to around about 40 Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. And I don't know about you, but if I did that for 60 minutes, by the end of it, I'd be like, oh man, I'm tripping out here. I don't know what's going on. I don't think I'm going to be having a good time and I don't think I'm going to be enjoying myself. Also, sitting in a sauna for an hour, my word, I would be a mess. That sounds like hell. That to me sounds worse than putting on my shoes and just going for a little jog. And I understand it. Running absolutely sucks. But when you compare the two, I'll take that one. So yes, I get it too. It can help with cardiovascular disease. Some people say it's a good antidepressant. And there's even been other studies that show that it decreases the risk of dementia. But that's not how it's being pitched to you because that's not what the fitness industry does or at least the way the mainstream media covers the fitness industry. They're all like, nobody wants to do any kind of exercise. What kind of baloney can we throw out there every single day? I mean, listen to this. If you hate running, you'll be glad to hear that taking a hot bath may just be as beneficial for your health. Just like going for a jog, a bath raises core body temperature and heart rate. It is speculated this in turn boosts a number of aspects of health and may even alleviate illness. Studies have shown a regular dip, meaning dip in the bath, not like dip in your face or something, is linked to lower blood pressure, blood sugar levels, inflammation, and improvement in conditions like PCOS. Using saunas and other heat therapy similar to bathing has also been shown to slash the odds of heart disease. But unsurprisingly, a hot steamy bath won't help you lose fat. Only exercise can do this. 
Who's going to scroll down that much? No one's going to scroll down that much. And the flipping headline is hate running, have a good bath, it's just as good for your health. And people are going to read that and think, just as good for my health? Oh my gosh, I'm now going to eat 72 pizzas and then go lay in the bath and I'll be doing my exercise for the day. It's absolute baloney. They should be selling this in a completely different way, but they don't because I get it, you want people to click, but it just drives me absolutely nuts because people are doing this all the time. Even that art video we did like last year, whenever it was, when a publication wrote, eggs are going to kill you. That was their thing. If you have two eggs a day, whatever it was, they're going to come into your house and they're going to stab you right in the head. And then lo and behold, ever since then, people have been eating a bunch of eggs and I haven't heard of that happening. Because just because it can happen in one person doesn't mean it's not going to happen in all people. But that comes down to fitness as a whole. Do not copy and paste your workouts or your diet or your supplement plan around exactly what somebody else is doing. Of course, be inspired by it. Bring it into your plan. See how you get on with it. But if you're pretty sure one of these elements isn't working, just ditch it. You are an individual. You are your human being. Your body is going to respond completely differently to every single other person on the earth. And that's why it's so hard to try and figure out. But I couldn't believe when I read this. And actually, I don't know why I picked that one. There's worse. Some have ones just saying, hey, man, you should go for a bath and just give up running entirely. And some people will buy into that. They won't even see the paragraph which actually explains what's going on. Because let's face it, too. When people go for a jog, 99% of us are not doing it for the other health benefits we've mentioned. We're doing it because we want to lose weight. And we're doing it because we feel like we have to exercise. So we shouldn't be coming up with these ways to push people away from it. We should be creating a fishing rod and trying to reel them in. And actually, just as we round this up, really, the headline should be, you should go for a run or whatever. And you should also have your hot bath, sauna, hot tub. You should be doing everything because it's called health and fitness. So whatever you can do to boost your health is what you should do. You shouldn't push one away and bring another one in. You should go, well, I've already got this one. Maybe I'll incorporate this too. And I will be the healthiest person on the planet. And of course you want to be the healthiest person on the planet. Maybe you get some kind of award. Maybe Guinness come around your house and go, and they give you a medal and give you one of those stupid, stupid frame pictures that doesn't actually mean anything anymore because there's just so many daft records. It's like everybody's got one. I think somebody has a record for like laying in a bath of beans at an American football game. But if I went and did it at a game of darts, all of a sudden I get a record for that. It's just dumb. It's just stupid. And so is this. Find ways to make fitness enjoyable. That's it. That's the secret key. That's the magic. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Because as soon as you do do that, you're going to want to exercise. You're going to want to work out. And it will make you feel happy. And that's the meaning of life. Just to find ways to put a smile on your face. And you can find it in exercise. Even if it's just rolling up and down a hill. You're still using energy. And you'll still be burning fat. Even though, yes, you will look like an absolute crazy person. So there you go. There's my rant for the day. But I read it and I felt like, well, I need a video for today. So I'm just going <laughs> I'm just going to do this. Please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell, ding, ding. So you know when other rant-like videos are going live. Another video right there. Give it a click. The Power 13 cookbook is out now. All the information is in the description below. Again, talk about trying to make your workouts happy. Do it with your diet too. Eat things that you want to eat. And then it's not even a diet. Support me on Patreon.com. For Simon316 if you are so able. At Simon316 on Twitter Instagram, simon.bigcartel.com for merchandise. New stock coming very, very soon, and I mean it. Otherwise, I will see you when I see you.